Hey everyone, Joel Hansen, we're officially in Houston, Texas. And of all foods, somehow we're here eating pho at Yummy Pho and Bonnet here in Houston, Texas. So, so excited to be here, here in this Reina. Uh, so yeah, I can't wait to get some pho. It's a big uh, pho challenge, it's undefeated. And there's a $200 cash prize on it, so that's pretty dang cool. So hopefully you can get that cash prize. Hopefully we can become the first winners. And of course, I know we're gonna enjoy some delicious food. So I think we got 45 minutes to complete it and we'll get you the details here momentarily. Hi everybody, so here we are with the challenge. Looks absolutely delicious. So we got two pounds of noodles, two pounds of meat, then the addition of a whole bunch of vegetables and some additional uh, rare beef as well. Um, tripe tendon, so it looks really good. We gotta finish the broth and it all, we do have 45 minutes to complete it. Miss Reina loves pho and I like okay. it too. So, pho, uh, ready to go Miss Reina? <laughs> I'm fucking ready. That was bad language. Fuck all right, full. All right, with that, I guess uh, we got our time, official timer at the back there. Okay. So I guess we can start it. One, two, three. Okay, okay let's go. cheers. Here we go. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're in Houston, Texas. Yes guys, you guys know I love Texas. I love Houston. I mean, we got Bucky's and we have Texas barbecue. What more can you ask for? So here we are at Yummy Pho, uh, which is towards Katie um, to do their big pho challenge. So for this challenge, it was a couple pounds of noodles, a couple pounds of meat, definitely a big bowl. Um, it, everything was weighed out, so I really appreciate the authenticity of it. Um, me and Raina had two different uh, kind of strategies for going about it. She um, fluffed her noodles up to try to like, uh, and then just taking the broth out as she goes, using the broth to drink. Um, whereas I was just trying to get all the meats done. And then I would get into the uh, compacted noodles uh, below my broth. Um, but overall, I will say it was a delicious tasting pho challenge. I liked the broth. The broth was very, very, very fresh. I've been uh, a couple times to different places and had pho where it was a little different tasting, but this was very, very good. It was very, very fresh. Um, the meats were uh, seemingly were of a quality as well. Um, nothing was too tough, um, very tender. And like I said, though, the broth, the broth like for, for me in this one uh, stood out quite a bit because that's really what makes pho. You you have to have a good bone broth to have a good bowl of pho, and definitely they had some quality items and ingredients here. Um, so basically this was the undefeated pho challenge um, with a jackpot prize. So ultimately uh, $200 on the line, we were hoping to get that $200 because hey, why the heck not? So depending when you go, the jackpot could be really big or really small. But hey, I mean, either way, getting cash and a delicious bowl of free pho, there is nothing wrong with that. In fact, I would say that's even really awesome, actually. Like, how can you complain? Definitely recognition has to go to the staff. Um, the staff, the owners, uh, they were so excited about the challenge. And that's really what helps make an experience. When you go to a restaurant that produces a food challenge that is of the same quality as all their other food items, and they serve with the same pride, and they serve with the same desire for satisfaction. That really makes a big difference. There are many, many restaurants that have food challenges that are, have them solely as money makers. They make them with the cheapest ingredients, just throwing things on a plate, um, just trying to basically con people in or rope them into trying probably an overly large and not so great challenge um, in an attempt to try to get you know their money you know get your money which you know is an elevated cost for the item with a chance of winning it for free so they'd probably amp the price up even more than it should be but this was definitely not the case here like i said um, really appreciate that they served the pho that they served everything with the same quality the same passion that they serve the rest of their food um, and then like i said honorable mention to the owners and all the staff there they really helped make the experience and they were very, very excited to have us out. Lots of meats, lots of tripe, lots of tendon. But it's going down. 
The fellow patrons, the other customers in the restaurant were also um, very, very friendly. Uh, and it, you know, I tell you what, Houston is a big city and I had, will say though that I, I can, I have so far all my experience in Texas, but Houston, all of Texas, there really is a hospitality. Despite it being a very large city, yes, there are some differences between Houston, between kind of the more San Antonio area, between the Dallas area, you know, kind of the feel of people, the looks of people can be a little different. But one thing that I have found bar none is just the hospitality. Um, the, like I said, the other patrons were great. I can't say enough, guys. I mean, sure there are exceptions, but generally Texas is bar none for hospitality. If you've never been, I definitely recommend it. Um, definitely head to Texas for not only their beautiful weather, for their awesome cuisine, for their amazing people, for their hospitality, but definitely also stop at Bucky's. That's my favorite gas station chain. But at that, everybody, I think that's pretty much all the information I have for you today. So like we said, guys, a great big bowl of pho. Um, with you know liters of broth, a couple liters of broth, we had a couple pounds of noodles, a couple pounds of meat. Um, total weight, honestly, is probably about like nine-ish pounds, um, considering the broth that is. Um, but overall, yeah, like I said, guys, tasty challenge. Hopefully, we'll get the win. I'll let you get to the rest of the video, and ultimately, let's see what happens. So I'm thinking we're probably about 7.45, maybe getting on even sim. Going really well, me and Randy were just finishing up. So hopefully soon, we'll be winners. And we're done. Well, I'm not sure what time, but maybe about nine minutes. Raina's just finishing up here, so she's doing really well. 
And at that, it was good. Really tasty fun. Just back to a regular bowl of fudge. Yep, now down to a normal bowl of fudge right now. Definitely hot though. Good way to heat you up. It was a little rainy earlier. It was like, oh, it's not a bad day for fudge. So definitely. Thank you. Wow. This is really good. Is that the fastest time? Yeah. I love it. Yeah, record breaker too. I guess so. <laughs> awesome. And probably about 10 minutes in, we're just absolutely killing it. Gotta go, we've got a little 35 minutes left, so going in for that win. He's going to do the foot challenge soon. Jackpot, you takes that jackpot prize there. And uh, yeah, so oh, awesome. great. Oh, wow, look at Thank that. You. And at that, Thank you. amazing. So again, huge thanks Ooh. to the staff here. Great environment, great people, super, super. We, you just can't beat that Texas hospitality. So then right to the next step, say happy the hungry, happy eating. Enjoy some good food and welcome to Texas. Welcome to Houston.